from Times Square in New York, Barbara Walters. Good evening, and welcome to 2020 Friday. We begin with an investigation that every driver should see, because millions of you may be driving around with a potential danger right in front of your eyes. You've got your seatbelt fastened, the airbags in place, but they may not be enough to save you in a crash if your car windshield gives way. Arnold Diaz has an urgent report and frightening crash test footage that should serve as a pointed warning. A car's windshield does a lot more than keep the rain out. In an accident, your factory-installed windshield can help save your life, deflecting the airbag and keeping the roof from caving in on you. But if your original windshield has been replaced, you could be in for trouble because experts say millions have not been installed properly. Wow, that's coming right out. Yep. There's no way I should be able to do that with this car. We'll show you examples of deadly problem. You'll also see what happened when we purposely broke our windshield and then called companies to come replace it. According to our experts, they made critical mistakes. These installers told us it's a widespread problem. Because there's actually more guys that do it wrong than guys that do it right. Is that right? Sadly, yes. But as you'll see, our experts guys are among those who installed the glass the wrong way. Should you wear gloves? Because it seems like, like the oils from your hands are getting on the edge of the glass. <laughs> what do I you don't think? Know, man. It may have happened to you. You get a crack in your windshield and you call a company to replace it. 11 million are replaced each year. Although it's a complicated job that requires skill and training in the use of primers, adhesives, and proper handling, installers don't have to be licensed or certified. And experts say installers are making mistakes, mistakes you may never know about until it's too late. There was a replacement windshield in 25-year-old Jean Fransway's car when it ran off this Wisconsin road last year. There's a really bad car accident down the road from here. There's a car smashed up and it looks pretty bad. Witnesses calling 911 couldn't find her inside the vehicle. I don't see a passenger. I don't know where the person is, but there's a shoe in the middle of the road. They found her body 70 feet away, lying on top of the windshield, which had come out as the car rolled over. Experts believe it wasn't installed properly. In crash tests like these, you see the windshield can keep you inside the tumbling car even if you're unbelted, as Gene Fransway was. However, if the glass pops out, as happened in this test, the passengers can be thrown from the car, which greatly increases the chance of death. The windshield is also an essential part of many airbag systems. The passenger side bag is designed to bounce off of the glass. But now watch this demonstration of what might happen if the windshield hasn't been properly installed. Three, two, one. The force of the airbag easily blew out the entire windshield. With that glass gone, the airbag can't cushion you. Windshields are a major support uh, factor of vehicles and nobody tells you this, you know. Four years ago, Charles Rhine had the cracked windshield on the family's minivan replaced at a local glass shop. Seven months later, on a rainy California highway, the minivan slid off the road, his wife Tracy behind the wheel. We were rolling, and when the vehicle stopped, I couldn't move. The replacement windshield had popped out during the rollover, allowing the roof to buckle into the passenger compartment, breaking Tracy's neck. If that windshield had reinforced like it was supposed to, I would have had at least four to six inches clearance. Do you think about that? All the time. At first, this mother of three didn't want to believe it when doctors told her the accident had left her a quadriplegic. When I heard it from Charles, I knew for sure that that it was true and I wasn't going to be able to be the same kind of mommy or wife
my life had totally changed in a matter of a day. The Rhine sued the company that had installed the replacement windshield and settled for two million dollars. They had forgot to put a secondary primer in the uh, installation in the windshield so that the hardening, hardening material, when they put on the, the windshield, it didn't harden. Experts tell us windshields are often improperly replaced because many technicians are either sloppy or haven't been trained well enough. So we decided to see for ourselves. We had windshields replaced in three different cities. In New Jersey, these installers had no idea we had a camera in a nearby van, and the customer was glass installation expert Steve Coyle. Coyle says he spotted a few significant mistakes. For one thing, they handled the edges of the windshield with their bare hands. The oils from your fingers will get on the bonding surface, um, cause the adhesive not to stick there, and in case of an accident, that would be the first place that would let loose. I later questioned the installers about that. And when we were watching, watching it being put in, it was being carried, you know, with their hands, with the fingers Actually, on the edge. He said he's able to carry the glass without his fingers touching the inside edges and showed me how he does it. I carry it like that. My hands never touch the inside of the glass. I see, so I'm your prepped. hands don't actually curl don't in Don't even touch. touch, no, but you're, you're raising very good points, and that is very important. It sure is important, say our experts, but as for his special carrying technique, he must have forgot to use it in our case. Take another look at the surveillance pictures. His fingers are clearly touching the inside edges, and so were his partners. I've never had a problem with the oils on the glass. I mean, unless you have a handful of grease or something like that, I could see, but your everyday... Uh, right. But look at your fingers. Dirt. I mean, those are, you, well, that's a handful of grease. This all day. It's not a handful <laughs> of grease, trust me. Whether it's grease or dirt, our experts say it's still a problem. And that's not all. The technicians are supposed to apply a coat of primer to the edge of the windshield before using this kind of urethane glue. It helps it stick better. But our expert never saw them put on the primer. They insisted they always do. We do when we receive the glass or in the morning or, you know what I mean, just before we put it in. At some point, we're priming it. Okay. Uh, it depends on the day. Well, when did you put <laughs> this? slammed out 12 jobs, buddy. <laughs> They'd been really busy, he said. So busy that perhaps they forgot to prime the glass? When did you put the activator on this piece of glass, do you know? Ah, uh, just before we put it in, no? Just before you put it in? Okay. I didn't prime. Did you prime? Oh. Yeah. When, yeah, when did you do that? Just before we put it in. Okay. But the next day, we had the windshield they put in removed, and the urethane easily came loose. That indicates the primer was probably either never put on or no longer effective, say a number of experts. The company told us safety is very important to them and said their installers are certified and regularly trained. But clearly, these guys were having a bad day. Which actually, this is a bad example of how this is done because we are working solo all day, every day. Right. Honestly, yeah. when I have a coworker or even for Dan here, right. I get out of sync when I'm. I have my own routine when I'm by myself, and I right. one, two, three. Okay. You know, we have almost no comebacks. In Spokane, Washington, this worker from a glass company we called also contaminated the edges with his bare hands. Then the technician wiped the windshield with only a rag, failing to use the cleaning fluid he was supposed to. The company later fired him, but said it was an isolated incident and did not agree that the mistakes posed a safety risk. In Minneapolis, our expert Steve Coyle said this installer never warned him that it's not safe to drive the car until the glue dries. He says, all I need to do is slap the glue on here and put the window in and you're ready to go. The technician had a different story. You told the guy he could drive off. I never told him he could drive off. He did? No. Well, you... <laughs> how, long, how, how long should he wait till he dries that car away? Well, it should definitely sit for a while. How long? Uh, it actually probably should sit for a couple hours. A couple be hours? Before it's good and stiff. He's wrong. The manufacturer's directions say the car wouldn't be safe to drive for about 10 hours. The company said the technician made that mistake because our camera made him nervous. But Mitch Becker, another windshield expert, says based on his experiences, mistakes like the ones we found are not unusual. This is something I run across commonly. Commonly? Yes, across the country. 
In fact, at this salvage yard outside Minneapolis, Becker easily found evidence of one car after another with windshields improperly replaced. This section of the glass should not pull away. He says this and many other windshields were put in with a cheap adhesive called butyl tape, a material car makers say is far too weak to keep the glass secure. That was obvious when Becker pushed out this windshield with his feet. So people were probably driving around in this car having no idea that uh, this was all that was holding their windshield in place and that it's not enough. Right. Many people drive around, they don't realize that their life is in danger. At the automobile factory, most of the windshield installation process is automated. Human hands don't touch the glass until it's already glued and in place. And even then, gloves are always used. Contrast that with the way we saw replacement windshields being installed. The potential for life-threatening mistakes is obvious, as is the need for training to do the job right. If they could know what negligence they did has caused to my family, to my children, Maybe they would be more responsible in their jobs. Arnold, that is really tragic. Well, how does someone know where to go to get the right kind of treatment for the windshield? Well, no matter who you call, the experts advise you may want to ask them, are you certified by the National Glass Association? They do have a certification program. Ask not just the shop, but the person who's actually putting the windshield in, the installer, if they're certified. Does that guarantee that it'll be okay? No, but it gives you a better chance it will be. What about asking your insurance agent to recommend somebody? That could be a problem because sometimes they steer you to a place that does it cheap, and that means the place could be cutting corners. So you have to know as much as possible yourself. Right. Thank you, Arnold. Important news. We'd like to tell you for more safety tips, visit our website at abcnews.com. We'll be right back.